Hello everyone, this is Dreaded Corpse bringing you another video tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be blocks broken down. Um, let me explain that a little bit. Uh, today's video tutorial I'm going to go to uh, and basically go through uh, what a block is, how a block is used, and uh, how you can create your own using uh, a mix of PHP and HTML coding. I will be supplying uh, the file that I will be using uh, in a blank form uh, with this video tutorial so you will be able to use it and add your own content to it. So uh, if you have any ideas for other video tutorials uh, please visit over at headshotdomain.net also for any uh, blocks or modules that you may want uh, or have questions for even themes go over to clanthemes.com um, if you like to uh, help the process of these video tutorials and have them keep coming and uh, help support us in uh, streaming these for you guys if you find this very useful please come over to headshotdomain.net or betterleft.com and uh, donate over there all donations go into our servers to help stream these videos for you guys to use uh, for your help. Also, uh, I have a deal for people that do donate. Uh, if you put in the comment of the donations, uh, you will get first crack at all beta mods uh, that I create or blocks that I create. And you will have first pickings of uh, the blocks and modules. Also, uh, with modules uh, that I do not release publicly you will be able to still have access to get them so if you want to use them on your site you will be able to have access to where uh, normal users won't so uh, if you feel like supporting uh, please come over stop over there uh, donations over there are set in uh, sm small increment values uh, and it, every little bit helps so uh, feel free to stop by and uh, help out with uh, the cause okay uh, let's get started on this well, first thing we're going to do is let's create the file we're going to start off with a blank file a blank template file so what we're going to do is right click on our desktop oh, under new we're going to go to uh, text document you can also open up notepad and save file as and uh, save the file as whatever name you want like new text dot txt save it and save it to your desktop and once you have the file you will have a little file like this what we're going to do is we're going to rename it let's name this one um, welcome dot php now since we have that there and as you can see I did fi change the file extension uh, if you do not see these file extensions like as you can see this is a zip this one's a php file uh, you can do an ask.com or a google.com search and uh, find out how you can change uh, so you can see the file extension on desktop icons um, it uh, varies on uh, what type of uh, operating system you're working with so uh, I'm not going to get into that because they're all quite different so uh, let's get started I'm going to uh, open this using a free program this program is called notepad plus plus as you can see up here and what I'm just going to do is let me drag and drop that and as you can see I did open it right there and uh, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to start with uh, a couple of uh, uh, the opening and closing for uh, the PHP um, the PHP code is uh, executed on the server and uh, basically what ends up happening is the plain HTML results is sent to the browser so people will see the final product of what you want um, 
a PHP scripting block always starts with uh, basically this uh, opening close uh, open and let's go down five lines and close so now we have that okay uh, next step what we're going to want to do is now we have to uh, use an if command well basically the if the if statement it uses uh, what you want uh, to be executed by the code of uh, basically if it's true so basically uh, what ends up happening is uh, it will say okay our co a code will be if define block file uh, file uh, header location index.php uh, if that is true then uh, what it's going to do is it will send that information and view it if it's false it will not show it it will come up saying that there is a problem with this block it will it con currently contains no content or something like that so what we have to do is we're going to start with if put a space do one of those little doohickeys and ed and then one of those underscore and then that, that. and then uh, one of these little funny little brackets and uh, sorry that happens every so often so now we have if defined and there we have to open and close for that and as you can see this is a very nice program for especially being for free uh, you can see that this one is the opening and over here is the closing for that and then we go to this one here it shows that this is the open that's the closing statement and as you can see this one is by itself right now so let's uh, add in the next line which will be I Oops. Index. Php. Cool. And basically, what we're saying right here is, uh, it's saying if the block is defined underscore file, uh, the header, the location is uh, in that index. Php. Then uh, proceed. So let's go with die. Now, uh, since we have all that done, let me come here and uh, do the closing tag for this doohickey. As you can see up here, here's the opening, here's the closing. Uh, if you're wondering what that key is, it's uh, the brackets, but the holding shift and using the bracket. Um, here, let me see if I can... Uh, Let me bring up a WordPad for you, real quick. There we go. There's the brackets right there, so you can get a better view of what they look like. Uh, those two brackets there are what I'm using right here, these ones in red. So if you're wondering, that's what they look like. Uh, so this is the opening, this is the closing tag. So here, let's minimize that. And let's proceed on to the next step. Um, now we're ready to go on with the block. Well, 
in here you can use uh, several different uh, forms and f different functions. Uh, you can use uh, the two that are going to be most commonly used is uh, content and echo. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, show you what an echo is. I'm going to show you what content is. Um, echoes, in my opinion, and many other uh, opinions, uh, which say don't use them if you don't have to. And I agree. Uh, you don't use them if you don't have to. So, uh, but an echo would be as simple as that. And right inside this area here would be your HTML coding. You can put in uh, like font color equals let's do 0-0 FF 0-0 and then close that out and let's do uh, oops backslash font and basically what that would do is echo hello in that font color well I can tell you right now there's a problem with this if you want to do this you'll probably just see coding and it would probably just show this part of the coding and the reason why I say that is if you notice right, right here and this is one of the biggest problems that people run into and just they don't understand what is happening and uh, when I go do the edits to their blocks and they go take a look at it they're like well it looks the same well what you have to do and I have to realize is this is an opening tag uh, this one right here that I'm highlighting well right down here the PHP code will see this one and say oh well there's the closing tag so let's close that and so this all this section will be sh uh, shown as uh, what is supposed to be right well it's not going to show anything it's just going to show a partial code so what you have to do is you can do one of two things you can change these quotes to just a single quote but you would have to come out to the closing tag over here and do the same thing uh, but another uh, the most common fix and this is what I do all the time is I put a backslash in front of all the other ones that we have that we don't want to be the closing tags and basically now how you can see how it's all gray now in between these two quotes here hello will be shown in that color but nothing else you won't see any code that's how basically the HTML works so anytime you have the quotes and you have quotes as the opening always make sure you put a forward slash for the ones that you don't want to be the closing tags but here let's uh try something else uh let me think okay how's this uh, I'm going to create something so uh, it's going to show a music video but above it it will also have a message depending on what day it is just say if it's uh, a Friday Saturday or a Sunday like if it's Friday it will say have a nice weekend um, if it's Saturday it will say I uh, hope you enjoy your Saturday and then on uh, Sunday let's say up oh, last day before Monday starts let's have it say that and then the rest of the week it will say have a have a great week for Monday through Thursday uh, it's a pretty simple code um, and it's going to show a mix of HTML and PHP and I will show also how to include a music video to show underneath the message um, pretty much fairly straightforward uh, what we're going to do is start with uh, D equals date that's going to be our first line right there 
our second line will be now we're going with another if statement uh, and remember the if statement is basically uh, used when you want it to execute a code when the conditions is true not when the statement is false but we're also going to be using if else if uh, statement which is used if the else uh, else statement is executed a set of code if one of several conditions are true so basically what I'm saying is uh, the if statement will be used if it is that that one the else if would be just case uh, this other thing is true then it will be using that one instead of the first one so I'll show you right now we're going to go with if and then where is that key for and then the quotes F R I and now it's saying if the day is set to Friday F R I we're going to have it display uh, what should we have it say and I'm going to center all the text and this is where your HTML coding comes in handy and I want it somewhat bold so let's use h2 it's going to automatically pull this from the theme uh, CSS so you can use h1 h2 h3 those are different things that the, uh, is built into the theme uh, through the CSS it's usually used for headlines uh, anything it's going to be your h2 is generally going to be a bolder uh, medium size uh, larger than the normal text and a different color something that will stand out so I generally will use h2 all the time and uh, let's put in a uh, And now what we're going to do is close out the H2. Backslash center. And now we close that. Since we just did if the day is Friday. Now what we're going to do is this is where the else if comes in. You type in. Now, basically, right here, what I did was it's saying, well, if it's Saturday instead of Friday, else if, remember I said, the else if, it is used if the else statement to execute a set of code if one several conditions are true other than the original if statement. Um, so it's saying, okay, if today is Saturday, use this one instead of the original. Friday and what we can do is do the content equals and uh, with this one what we're going to do is put a little period here and I'll get a little bit more into that What I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight this because we're going to be using this several times over. Control F. And then do uh, that. And uh, we're going to change this. And let's put have a great Saturday. So now if it is Saturday, it will say, have a great Saturday. And let's add a little exclamation for that. And it's going to be bold again. And uh, just for uh, 
sakes, let's put in the brakes in here. Like that. And let me just uh, highlight this. Actually, I can use this whole thing. Control C. Come down here and press Control V. Because all we're actually going to do is just change this to Sunday. So, if Sunday. So, basically, it says now else if the day is Sunday. And it's going to uh, display this text. And what we're going to do is uh, type in day before. Last day before Monday. And now what we're going to do is the last one. And this one is just going to be an else. And this is going to cover all the other days in the weekend. So now we've done the if, the else if, now we're doing the else. Have a nice day. And uh, let me uh, change that to lowercase. And uh, a couple of exclamations there. And now let's do the closeout for H2 and uh, the center. And let's add in a couple of line breaks. And close it. Well, as you can see right here, now since we're done with this, uh, basically now if I just go save this and upload it to our website, depending on what day it is that week, it will display one of these four messages. Have a great weekend, have a great Saturday, last day before Monday, have a nice day. So uh, those are going to be the four messages that are going to be shown. Uh, so and you can also have it change so it says uh, different things. You can also make it say uh, multiple things for the week. Uh, different lines and all you would do is you can just put in something here before the center. I mean it's all HTML so this one you can easily look up on uh, uh, do a ask.com or google.com for uh, HTML tutorials and you'll learn about line breaks and that but you'll be able to do all different kinds of things uh, you can add in whatever you want in there uh, so let's now add the music video to this now what I want to do uh, is uh, where is it? Content and then oops equals and today we're going to use uh, a video from YouTube. Uh, one of my favorite bands and also some of my friends. Uh, creature feature the greatest show on earth but we're going to do is use this embedding coding here let me pause this uh, we're going to use this embed code right here uh, why use this for several reasons uh, one is going to show a bunch of different errors and let's change that to that
sure what those are. Okay, let's uh, leave that as is. Uh, and now what we're going to do is uh, grab this coding right here. Copy that. And let's uh, close this right here. And the reason why I'm using their coding here is because it's going to show us some errors. And this is what I want to show. Uh, that I did go over a little bit beforehand. I figured, hey, why not show it again? And uh, as you can see, in between this quote and this quote, there is yellow, black, uh, purple, blue. Uh, that's because of, remember, we have to close out these. It's all, seeing this as the open and this as the close. Yes, I could easily just come up and change this and that. I mean, this will work. But, it's not recommended. Um, I'm not sure why. Um, that I cannot answer. Sorry if you think I have all the answers. I don't. Um, I've just always been told uh, it's best to put the four slashes here. And let's use the control F feature and what we're going to do is find all those and replace with that you can tell that I do it quite often because it's already implanted so let's do replace and the reason why I did not do the find all is if our replace all is if you do the replace all it will find every single one and put them in there. I don't want to do that. I just want to do it to uh, certain ones. So that's why I didn't do the replace all. So now, if we uh, let's file and save this, let's minimize this. We're not done yet. We have to rename this. So let's rename this to block dash welcome.php now if I come up here and I just uploaded it to my website and let's come back to here go to our website as you can see uh, let's put it so it's right here above the better left dead ads and below the Left 4 Dead video, music video intro. So let's come into here and let's go to our blocks. So, there it is right there. Add new block. And let's find welcome there it is right there uh, let's put it at center up active yes and let's make it so administration uh, let's just leave it at all visitors right now like that and you can put in the custom title uh, but I'm just going to leave it welcome welcome is what's going to be displayed so we'll leave it at that create block and now we can see it right here. Let's move that up so it's below. Right now it's below the video intro, but above the letter, uh, better left add add. So let's now go back to the main. And there it is right there. Well, as you can see, it says last day before Monday. That is correct. But this music video is off to the left. 
Well, if you remember, here, let's uh, open this right here. Let me close this one. Because we renamed it, it's going to be showing somewhere else. I didn't center this. So, simple HTML code, very basic, center. And we'll just come over here. Let me uh, put that over there. And control S will save it. Let me grab this and uh, upload it again overwrite now we come to uh, back to the website and click refresh you will now see it centered and of course since today is Sunday that I am recording this uh, just trust me that it is uh, Here, I'll even bring over the time. See, today's March 8th, Sunday, March 8th, just to prove it to you. So, last day before Monday. And for some reason, sometimes this video doesn't show something with YouTube. But as you can see, it's right here. But, uh, it goes up. Sometimes it's down. Uh, I don't know. Something to do with them. Must be. But uh, that's basically what it comes down to. Uh, that's how you would do everything there. So, uh... I hope this video tutorial helps you out and uh, actually before we leave let's uh since we're done with this let me just uh, delete all this for you and this Let me add the echo. Like that. Sorry. Just a little lazy and I didn't feel like retyping that again. So, basically, uh, this is what I'm going to have on there. It's going to be a blank file. Uh, pretty much all set for you to enter in your information. Um, hold on, let me, uh, check something out real quick for you guys. Um, pretty sure, uh, up here, uh, I can't find it, so, uh, pretty sure up here, if block file underscore file does not work for you, try doing this. Sorry, should be all caps underscore so it's either going to be if defined nuke file or block file I know uh, evolution is going to be block file but I haven't worked with raven nuke or uh, PHP nuke regular nuke for a while uh, all my websites are nuke evolution 2.0.7 so uh, that's what I'm used to and it's all going to be all block file. Uh, but I think uh, Raven Nuke and Nuke uses uh, Nuke file. Not 100% sure. But this is the one I'm going to give you right now. And uh, if that this doesn't display, then just change this to Nuke. 
Simple. Let's go back to block. And uh, when you get this, basically this is what you're going to see. Just put all your coding in here and just remember what I told you. Uh, you need the opening and closing. And you need this to close out the line, the content code itself. So you can go on to the next line. Um, as you can see, like before, you can do various lines, multiple lines. You just have to remember, that's the closing tag. That's the opening tag. Um, I recommend using a program like this. That's Notepad++, which is a free program. Or if you have uh, a chance, use Macromedia Dreamweaver uh, 8. Uh, Adobe has their own version out there, Dreamweaver CS4. I played around with it a little bit. I did not care for it. Yes, I know there's going to be some people that say, oh, CS4 is great. I'm not going to lie, but my personal feelings, Adobe screws up everything. They overcomplicate programs that did not need any work to be done to them as is. But there's always going to be people with their own opinions. So, it's your personal preference. If you don't have any of those programs, I do recommend using Notepad++. It is a free download. And if you don't feel like downloading it, you can use regular Notepad or WordPad. But there, <clears throat> using those will not guarantee you uh, an easier way of catching your mistakes. At least these will display in color of uh, different problems that will show up. So, uh, good luck. I hope this helps out. Uh, enjoy. Uh, Let's save this as a uh, blank. Underscore block. Blank block that PHP. That's what I'm going to uh, save it as, and I will upload it up to uh, onto Clan Themes for you to download to use uh, as you please. Um, whatever section you do not use like if you're just going to enter something in here then uh, let me know uh, then just delete these other ones that aren't being used do not leave them in uh, no need to have them in uh, if you want to use the code that I gave you or showed you that I used today for uh, the di different days of the week uh, and you don't feel like copying what I typed in the video tutorial uh, contact me and uh, I'll send you the code that I used um, so enjoy hope this helps and I hope this explains uh, some of your questions or problems that you might have had in the past uh, give it a try work with it play with it enjoy you can do endless things with it just play it smart and if you do have any questions Feel free to ask in the forums. That's what we're here for. We're here to help you. Uh, that's why I do these video tutorials. Help you guys out. So enjoy. And thank you for watching.